Howdy gamers, once you complete the Below Ice Mountain quest, you're ready to go ahead and knock out the Camdoza collection log. Um, it's to the west of Ice Mountain is how you're getting there. I typically just teleport with a combat bracelet from the monastery and walk over, but a couple of ways to get here. Any way you'd like to get here is more than okay. But once you're ready, go ahead and head on in. For the first part, you're just going to need a hammer in your inventory and any kind of pickaxe. So once you found your way inside the ruins of Camdozo, you're just going to head west and then a little bit north. And you're going to see some mining symbols. Just go ahead and head up here and find yourself one of these mining veins. Okay, once you have a full inventory of these baronite deposits, you should accumulate, by the way, a good amount of baronite shards as well. But you're going to go ahead and head east and find your way back over to the anvil symbol. By the way, I do think it's worth noting here just for a quick second that if you keep heading east, you will run right into a bank. So if you need to grab anything from the bank, you can do that there. So once you find your way over here, go ahead and click on one of these baronite deposits and you're just gonna use it on this most northern anvil. You won't be able to use these. It's called the baronite crusher. Go ahead and use it on this. And you're gonna go ahead and just start crushing these. You're either gonna get some shards or here's where you will get the collection log items as well. So to complete the Camdozel log, there's actually 10 collection log items you need to obtain. Seven of those 10 are obtained from doing exactly what we're doing now. Just go ahead and smithing these Baronite deposits. So these five items, the Ancient Astroscope, Carcanet, Globe, Ledger, and Tree Dice all drop at a one in 350 chance when you are smithing a Baronite deposit. Additionally, each one of these items can be taken to the Varrock Museum and traded to the Curator. The Curator, I believe, will give you 200 coins as well as one kudo per artifact. The other two collection log items that you can get from smithing these Baronite deposits are one, the Baronite Head at a 1 in 200 drop rate, and then the Imcondo Hammer. It's going to be broken, but it'll drop it to you at a 1 in 300 drop rate. So to finish up the collection log, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to come down to the southwest over to where these fishing spots are. There's a little fishing net right here. Go ahead and grab that. Go to this small fishing net spot. And start fishing until you receive the Baronite Handle. I would just stay here. There's no need to prep any of the fish or do anything crazy. I would just keep catching fish and dropping them on the ground until you receive the handle. The final piece of the mace that you're going to need to grab is the Baronite Guard. In order to get that, I would just come over to this section right here, the Golem Workshop. It's just to the far east. Go ahead and awaken some rubble and start killing them. I'll put the drop rates for this item up now. I would highly recommend if you're able to, to kill the Chaos Golem as that will give you the part in the fastest amount of time. Once you have the Baronite Guard, Head, and Handle, and 1,500 of the Baronite Shards, you can go ahead and trade all that into Romarno, and he will give you back the Baronite Mace, as well as the final collection log slot for the Ruins of Camdozel. Good luck out there!